Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you hysteroscopic myomar resection. Here in this case, patient was 30 year old, para 2 living to having complaints of menorrhagia and her UHG showing submucous fibroid around 3 cm in size. So we decided to go for diagnostic hysteroscopy followed by hysteroscopic resection of myoma. We first introduced diagnostic sheet of 4mm histoscope. Now we are using normal saline as a distension media. With the help of hydromat machine, we are maintaining pressure at 0.6 and maintaining flow flow rate at 400 to 500. Here you can see the left ostia and the some part of fibroid you can see here. So there is submucous fibroid of type 1. Now to see the right ostia, we have to turn the light cable to the opposite direction. See, now you can see the right ostia. So this is the fibroid arising from the posterior wall of uterus. So it is type 1 submucous fibroid. You can see this broad base of this fibroid arising totally from the posterior wall of uterus. You can see this the base of the fibroid and this is the apex of fibroid. Now we have introduced the resetoscope of 4 mm histoscope and with using bipolar current and the loop resectoscope we are started resecting the myoma always start resecting from the apex of the fibroid if you start resecting at the base the fibroid get detached from its attachment and it will get difficult to take out this fibroid so slowly slowly we are resecting this fibroid in bits uh, we are using as cutting mode of bipolar pottery. If you are feel that there is some oozing or uh, there is some bleeding, you can uh, use coagulative mode of that bipolar pottery.
so now you can see that almost total fibroid is out now so this is the base of the fibroid now the cavity is totally free from the fibroid so it's a rewarding surgery for young female patient who wants to conserve their uterus and get rid of the submucous fibroid.